Hello and welcome to another episode of the Private Property Home Shopper Show. Today, we're in Moikloof Heights, one of the most upmarket estates here in Pretoria East. The home behind me exudes luxury and opulence thanks to its contemporary style and all that it offers. Across this 1,300 square meters, you will find five bedrooms, six bathrooms, a five car garage, space for a caravan or a boat, all on the market for 19,740,000 Rand. But before we continue with the home behind me, I'd like to let you know that you can find your new home on privateproperty.co.za. And remember to get your tickets to this year's property show happening down in Cape Town. All of the details are in the description below. My name is Chad Riveros. This is the Private Property Home Shopper Show. Welcome home. Heavy wood doors mark the entrance. Two beautiful lions flanking it. As soon as you walk into something like that, you know without a doubt you're in for something special. And this home does not disappoint. We've got marble tiles and stucco walls and pillars everywhere you can see. Stairs leading upstairs where all the bedrooms are, but front and center is what we're gonna be talking about first because this is your waiting area and it's a waiting area that's gonna leave an impression on guests. We've got very tall ceilings and the staccato walls lead all the way up. It is a beautiful finish and one we don't see often enough. On my left hand side, built into a very impressive mantle, you've got your fireplace with a bit of a feature wall just on top of that and then windows flanking the area that looks out onto your garden. Also like that you've got that over there, the upstairs railing peeking down here, giving a bit of a different perspective when you walk upstairs. This must be absolutely beautiful to look down on. But this isn't the only living area in a home this size. Obviously it's one of many and we're gonna be taking a look at the rest right now. The first living area you come to is actually your formal dining room area. Now this is perfectly positioned to be accessed via two different entrances. One is the one we've just went through and the other is right next to your pantry. So when you're entertaining guests, when you're using this room, it's easy to serve your guests without walking all the way around. And it's also very easy for your guests to come in without seeing the rest of the house. It makes it quite a formal occasion. It is quite a nice feature. One area of the room has windows that look out onto your front yard again. They can take in the splendor and the grandeur that is this home. But when we talk about grandeur, take a look at this crystal chandelier dangling from a beautiful ceiling that has almost custom made etchings. It fits so well with the walls and this room without a doubt fits this home perfectly. And then if we go this way, we find ourselves walking into the main living quarters. But first, let's start off with mentioning the guest toilet. It has a single vanity walk-in shower toilet as well as door to the outside. So it's quite well equipped and perfectly placed to service all of these areas. But this here is the main living area. You've got a small breakfast nook over there. Although in a home like this, small is relative with a wall of windows, this time looking at your pool, your pond, as well as the grounds that are incredible. And then to my right, we have an absolutely gigantic kitchen area. This is beautifully equipped and made for a home that's here to entertain guests. We've got the down lighting that is quite fancy and very, very minimalist. And then we've got these stunning countertops that run the length of this kitchen. And this center island that must be the largest center island I think we've ever seen on the show and it matches so well with what's above it. The ceiling design really is just that extra bit of flair that I think every kitchen needs. And then in terms of utilities, there's space for a double door fridge, you've got your inbuilt oven, space for a microwave and then of course your Siemens five top gas burner, beautifully clad in stainless steel with this extractor fan right here flanked with glass, plenty of above counter storage as well as under counter storage. And another thing you may notice is all of the frosted glass cabinetry such as this 
has got lighting inside of it as well. So at night, you know that this is definitely gonna take your breath away. They can easily act as a centerpiece of any home. Now, down this hallway, this is where you'll find your Lincoln to the dining room, your pantry that has plenty of storage space underneath the counters as well as above counter space for an extra fridge. You've got your double sink there, and that's where all your appliances are gonna be. And a little bit further down after your pantry, you find your office space. Now this office space is beautifully equipped with its very own bathroom, plenty of light and so much space for you to sit down either on the couch or behind your desk so that you can do all the work you may need to do to continue living in a home this exquisite. Just past the office, you'll find a door that is access to your garages. So if you do park your car then you need to bring in some groceries, it's a quick trip either to your pantry or to your kitchen so you can start cooking. And it's that kind of utility I love to see in homes this big. They're trying to make your life a little bit easier when living here. And when speaking about living, this is where you're gonna be doing most of it. This is your lounge and a large lounge, I think puts it mildly. You've got plenty of space, this stunning chandelier dangling above your head, and we've got a repeat of that unique ceiling design, bringing that extra bit of grandeur to this room. If that's not enough grandeur, well, right over here, you've got another very, very nice mantle, beautiful fireplace built in, windows flanked on either side, and in that feature wall with a glass door that slides open, allowing you to look at your pool or your pond, or even the outside boma, although I wouldn't really say it fits a boma. We're gonna show you that when we explore the grounds. And then we've got a set of sliding stackable glass doors that leads down a set of stairs onto what I could only describe as your indoor outdoor patio and I can't wait for you guys to see it. Come with me. And here it is, a room that is being exclusively designed for entertainment and entertainment only, although there might be a bit of functionality in it when we talk about fitness coming up. You've got your real charcoal bri built in spaces, all for prepping in case you are entertaining, entertaining guests out here. Plenty of under counter space along with plug points. And then all the windows you see either are sliding or are stackable. So you get to open this place up, really enjoy the grounds, really enjoy the views. And there are some incredible views. They do call this Moikla for a reason. So trust me, you're gonna be using this quite often. Fan above, as well as some really nice down lighting. And then in this corner over here, this is the fitness corner, I guess. You've got your treadmill, your bike, looking out onto your grounds. We're gonna step outside and take a look at them. So why don't you come with me? And here we are, a wraparound balcony running the length of the home, an absolutely massive pool, big enough for you to potentially swim with the dolphins. Off to my right hand side, your very own built-in centerpiece of a boma, or should I at least say bonfire pit. Up in front of me, you've got another entertainment area, a fully sealed off and separate space with its very own charcoal bry, space for lounge suites, space for entertainment, for you and your guests to go sit down after a long day playing at the pool or tanning and relax with a cold drink and watch some TV. But that's not all. One of my favorite pieces has to be that over there. You've got your very own pond. And not just any pond, a pond with a bridge that leads over it, some koi fish swimming around you in circles. I can't think of a better place to sit and enjoy a high tea. This, this is the life. Two sliding doors lead you into what I'd have to call the bar and games room. The marble floors continue, but this time with your very own private fireplace on those cold winter nights, can you imagine enjoying a game of pool while you grab a drink from this stunning built-in bar. Plenty of space, including plug points, countertops, as well as under counter storage. And all of this shelving behind me really does complete the look. But if that doesn't, why don't you quickly take a look at the ceiling and see how that differs to the rest of the home. Absolutely beautiful attention to detail, even when it comes to the artwork. But what I think I'm gonna do now is let me have a quick game. And then let's take a look at what the rooms on the downstairs area look like. Trust me, the first bedroom 
is definitely, definitely going to take your breath away. Now that we've wrapped up this bottom area, there's one thing left for us to do, and that's talk about this room on my right hand side. A beautiful room for you to utilize as you see fit. A second sitting room or a pajama lounge perhaps, or even a TV room that's beautifully lit overlooking the front of the house and very, very close to your entryway. And that is where we headed next so that we can take the journey up the stairs and take a look at what the bedrooms in this incredible mansion look like. Here we are finally on this upstairs landing. One chandelier on my right, another chandelier on my left, and incredible views throughout of this exquisite mansion. We've got three bedrooms located upstairs, and we're gonna take a look at the first one right over here. And now, time for bedroom number two. And here we are in a beautifully spacious bedroom. I love the wood flooring. It brings a lot of warmth in from those tiles outside. Another chandelier dominating the center of the room. Again, bringing in that country contemporary feel. This home has got air cons all the way throughout. It's either central air conditioning or spot air conditioning throughout the rooms. This room has got a beautifully large window letting in a lot of natural light and letting you look down onto the front side of the house. And on my right hand side, you've got your walk-in closet, plenty of cupboard space, and that leads straight into your bathroom. And now time for the final bedroom located upstairs. Let's take a look at it. Through this beautiful door, we find ourselves in the third bedroom and there's a couple of really cool features in this bedroom. Again, we see a repetition of the beautiful wood flooring bringing in that warmth. We see the chandelier dominating the center of the room, drawing the eyes up to the ceiling. But this time we've got a wall of windows overlooking an incredible view of the countryside right here in Pretoria East. There's plenty of space and even more so if you'd like to put a lounge suite and throw a TV up instead of a dresser, if you don't want to walk downstairs, this room has got it all. The aircon, the walk-in closet, as well as the ensuite bathroom. And the ensuite bathroom comes very, very well kitted out. You've got a center bath 
freestanding bath shaped as an oval. Really nice warm rock withholding that heat. You've got a walk-in shower double vanity as well as your toilet placed neatly off in the corner. All of it light, all of it airy, all of it, everything you'd want when purchasing a home of this size. And that unfortunately brings us to an end of this incredible home. What I'd like to do now is come with me as we venture back downstairs and take a quick look around that pool area and we can talk about how you can become this home's next owner. Unfortunately, that is all we have time for today. But before we head off, let's recap what we've seen so far. This home spans across 1,300 meters squared, has five bedrooms, six bathrooms, a five car garage, and incredible indoor and outdoor spaces that truly makes it an entertainer's dream. All for 19,740,000 rand. Now, if you'd like to become the next owner of this amazing home, what I'd like you to do is contact Pina, or Karen from KW Prime, and they will schedule a viewing at your convenience. And a huge thank you goes out to both Pina and Karen, as well as KW Prime, for allowing us to showcase this home in all of its incredible glory. Now, before we head off, please like, share, subscribe to us, not only on YouTube, but also on Facebook and Instagram, and then smash that notification bell so that you never miss an upload from private property. Also remember you can find your new home on privateproperty.co.za and the tickets to the private property show happening down in Cape Town in the description below as well. Can't wait to see you there. And until next time, my name is Chad Riveros. This is the Private Property Home Shopper Show. Thank you and goodbye.